gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of Opposite. Wait, 15. That was what? I don't know. That was you. <laughs> Are we ready? Welcome to another episode of the Nothing and Everything podcast, where today we will talk a lot of nothing. And a little bit about everything. A little bit about everything. Yep. So... That's- <laughs> I still see it. Something's floating in your in your drink there. It's like a piece of lint. It's fuzz. That's what you hope. It's not gonna hurt anything. It Until could be it some kind of amoeba. Look, if you look at it, it looks like it's moving around. It's gonna lock you up, man. Seriously, it's like it a might. parasite. A parasite. Mm. So, I'm excited. Have you ever had a parasite or a tapeworm or anything like that? Um, like any type of gastrointestinal <laughs> issues? <laughs> you ever had Montezuma's revenge? No. Okay. <laughs> Actually, yes, I have. I, I got it in Mexico too. Did you, at that. Did you really? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Do you remember like what you was it like a bad piece of mango, or something? Uh no. I um this these uh the, I guess the host home that we were at or whatever yeah. for the for the week, um, she made like some tamales <laughs> out of a giant metal pan with all kinds of water and mayo and um, lettuce and other stuff and mayo. Um, I guess like mayonnaise. Well. Yeah. Mayo. Mayonnaise is in a normal tamale? Like mayonnaise. Like mayonnaise a lot of people in here. <laughs> <laughs> that's stupid. <Yeah. laughs> mayonnaise. That's what I always try to do. We try to do at my house. The You can run the word Band-Aid and mayonnaise and make them sound the same. Yeah. I'm like, which one am I saying right now? Mayonnaise. You don't know. Could have been Band-Aids. Could have been mayonnaise. You said mayonnaise just then, though. But did I? You did. How about this one? <laughs> anyway, I ate some of the food that she made on the hood of a car with some big. On milk. the hood of a car, yeah. maybe that was the problem. It was, you know, actually. So I, I did, I did go on a mission trip. You know, this might just work just well since uh, last week was Cinco de Mayo. I did a <laughs> mission trip in Mexico. Yeah, and we were in a place called Sinaloa. Ooh. You ever heard of that? Not Sinaloa. No. It is like the drug capital of Earth. So it's a Sinaloa province, and. um yeah, we were there, and every day. If you're day, looking at Mexico, where is that? Um, Mexico. like you know where the Baja Peninsula is, like the yeah, that's yeah. I've been so in that direction. Yeah, so go down to the very tip of the, I think it's the Yucatan, uh, mm, whatever, you, yeah, yeah. right there, straight over, right there, in in mainland uh, Mexico, and it, it, I mean, it's rough, it's rough there now. I was at a place one time called Hermosillo, which is probably on the other side mm-hmm, of the peninsula, mm-hmm. and we had to drive from Hermosillo to. Tucson, Arizona, mm. and to go pick up some people, and like the this guy sounds, I was with. This sounds shady. It was <laughs> well, and he waited until we got in the band. He goes, "Hey, here's some stuff that could possibly happen," and I was like, "We what? legit could die on this." How yeah, old he's were like, you? We might get pulled over. I mean, this was. I mean, we're like in college or something. Yeah, or? I mean, oh, okay. no, I was married. I mean, yeah, I mean, I was probably thirty. Hmm. But he was like, we c- if we get pulled over, and sometimes they're not legitimate cops, and they're going to try to shake us down. And I was what? like, why are you just not? I mean, I seriously was like for three hours just driving. I was like, oh, my word, what is going to happen? Mm, I'd have been like Mad Max. Really? Oh, yeah, man. I'm not going out Mad like that. Mad Max? I'm not going out in Mexico, bro. <laughs> I'm not going no. out in Mexico. Especially down there where it's all bad and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, like, there would be these helicopters that would fly over all day long because they would like look for i guess uh some, like drug drug plants or drug fields like huge drug plants drug plants <laughs> are you growing any drug plants in here Do young you man you have drug plants I- <laughs> are there any drug plants in here <laughs> so anyway uh yeah so that was uh that was that so somehow we ended up on drug plants Montezuma's, from Montezuma's yeah. revenge Very good. So. so happy single de Mayo to yeah, all of so the people out there w- we were actually surfing one day it was the first time I ever but surfed. Geez, we we're out on the coast, and uh, the host home that we were with, they were like, "Hey, let's make let's make tacos or tamales or something." I was like, "Yeah, sounds great." On the with hood the of the car, yeah. she mixed it up, and uh, it was it didn't take long. When so. you say on the hood of the car, like they're just like wrapping it up, and you're eating like like a picnic, or are you like actually cooking the food on the surface <laughs> off the heat of the, of the yeah. engine? No, it wasn't it's like so that. hot. We just, could make a taco. I mean, there was we didn't take like a picnic table with us, so it was just you know on the hood of the car. On the hood of the That's car, where you picked it up. Yeah. So it's a rough it was day. bad, man. It was Seriously? bad. It was a bad day. I mean, if we had like a El Camino, that'd have been nice because then we could. You sitting in the back. Sit in the back. And if you had an El Camino and you could make it like the back, like a pool. Yeah, my football coach had an El Camino. Did he really? But his was really nice. 
like everyone wanted one, but the best I could probably do would be like like that the brat or the the brat. <laughs> the you know, brat. You know. <laughs> like wait, a little Subaru or something. Wait, the brat's a rapper or something like that, right? Yes, that you just <laughs> went way back on the brat. <laughs> I can't remember the song from the brat. I don't know, no, but it's like a Dotson brat or yeah. something. I think that's what it's called. A Dotson. A Dotson. We had a Dotson growing up. You had a Dotson. Like, a, wait, is that a, a dog do- or is that a car? That's a Dachshund. Oh, a Dachshund. This was a Dotson. Like Band Aid, mayonnaise. See, there's a lot of those things. Dotson, Dachshund. Yeah. It was a Dotson car, and it was like somebody gave it to us, and it was rough. But it was our like second car. Was so it, it the, the El Camino-ish kind of car? No, it was like one of the smaller, square-looking ones. But yeah. that's what I learned to drive a stick in. Yeah, okay. I mean, it was you know probably from the 70s. Who knows how many miles it had on it. And we'd have to just go on a hill straight up and down, mm. get up the hill. You know, uh, speaking of the 80s, wait, were you talking about the 80s just then? Sure. Okay. The, no, the brat was probably the 90s. The 90s. Ni- <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it the whole time now. The anyway, brat, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> the brat reference. I don't even know I'm who that is. Totally, when we leave her, I'm gonna have to get on the Apple Radio. My, my, yeah, my music, my streaming, my music streaming yeah. platform, and so <laughs> look okay, up the brat song. So let me tell you something funny. So we just started watching this show called Stranger Things. Are you familiar with I'm that familiar show? I'm familiar with it, but I haven't watched it. Okay, so I'm not the anti- I just don't know anything about yeah, it. Yeah, so we tried to watch it a long time ago. There's a little bit of language in it, and you know, my kids were young, so I was like, ah, I don't really want to watch this. But we have this thing called Vid Angel. You ever heard of Vid Angel? I've heard of it. Yeah. So it's like a subscription thing. You pay money, and then it like bleeps out all the bad words or bad scenes or, or any anything that you want to take out. You can just check a box and it takes it out. Really? Okay. Yeah. So it's really cool. So. There was a movie that I was wanting, uh, you know, my boys to watch because it was real funny. I'm not gonna tell you what, what movie it was, but I was thinking I'm never gonna let them watch it under my roof because it's it's just you know it's kind of bad. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like it's similar to Rush Hour anyway. So um, with you know Chris Tucker Chris and Jackie. Tucker. Tucker. <laughs> Wait. Anyway, keep going. Okay. Keep, keep going. going. You keep don't going. Want to talk about Jackie. Chris. So anyway. <laughs> so anyway. Um, but the movie was like half an hour shorter because it just cut so you much didn't stuff. You get the out. real plot line. You're like, I don't even know what happened. Because- we would go like eight or nine seconds where it's just dead silent, and you you're watching like people talk to each other, but th- there's no. So anyway, it takes all the language out. So I actually do like it for that. And Stranger Things is now a show that we could, you know, watch. Yeah. It's weird. It's really weird. The show Stranger Things. The show is, is well, strange. Strange. Yeah. It's strange. strange yeah. yeah. So there's a whole lot of people that were talking about it. So I was like, you know what? Let's watch it because we we needed a show to kind of binge watch or whatever. Yeah. So we're in the process of watching that. Do you have any shows that you watch like that? <laughs> nah. Are you really this boring? Yeah, I really am. Like my, I don't watch a lot of television. How is our podcast so successful? <laughs> it blows my mind as well. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't really watch a lot. I mean, like uh, Carrie and I's tastes are pretty different. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would rather watch I don't know like boring weird documentaries. I mean, or like probably like sitcoms. I think it probably just holds my attention just yeah. enough for like twenty five minutes. Yeah. Um, I do like. There have been some shows before. Like I like like a shorter like some of these series that come out, and it's like, you know, you watch like six episodes and it's a, amazing. I'm I'm trying to think of like what I could think of, and it's great. And you're like, okay, just stop. Like I don't I don't need a, a season two. I don't right. need you to ruin it and mm. jump the shark later yeah. ooh, on. Ooh, okay. You like that little I, happy days I reference? Hear you, I hear you. Do you know what that is? Oh, I do. I do. I use that sometimes when people are like, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. You jump the shark. Mm-hmm. When Fonzie I didn't see this in its first run, mm-hmm. but you know, like when mm-hmm. it was an original show. Mm-hmm. But Fonzie jumped the shark. Yep. Was he wearing his leather jacket when yep. he jumped the shark? Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> If you don't know what we're talking about, people... I, I know Google. what you're talking about. But, you know, like, I'm like, just make six really good episodes or ten really good episodes. I don't need a season two to, yeah. uh, you know, it's like you didn't... It's like I don't know much about writing a television show. But, like, hey, let's write, re- you know, six really good episodes. Oh, crud, it caught on. Now what do we do? Right. We've got to rewrite everything. And, right. like, the second, third season are like, what? I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. I I would rather just give me short bites, make it really good, and to be done, and then I yeah. can move on. So I don't know. 
Yeah, you know, um, there was a show that I thought was really good at first, and then it, uh, the second season was really terrible. It was that Jack Ryan. You, did you ever see that? Uh, oh, oh, we started watching part of it. Yeah. yeah, so the first season was really good. Yeah. Second season was really bad. You had to throw some vid angel in there. Would have helped you out well, on that second season. Well, we watch everything yeah. on, the, on the vid angel. So, oh, nice. yeah, it's, it's very helpful. So the vid so. angel, like, this episode is brought to you by vid angel. By vid angel. But, like, you could just throw it in there with any of your, like, streaming services so or So what happens is you sign into VidAngel, and then you you sign into Netflix or Amazon, like, whatever yeah. streaming service you have, ah. and then it pulls from there and plays it through VidAngel. So it, it's actually pretty There's a nice. lot of Coco Melon happening in my house. A lot of what? A lot of Coco Melon. Coco Melon? People who have children that are one, two, three, four I know four about Coco old. Butter. <laughs> Why do you know about Coco Butter? I don't know anything about Coco Melon. Coco Melon. Wait, that's it's a, a popular kids show. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, Cocoa Butter is not it's a popular kids show. It's just songs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cocoa Melon. Cocoa Melon is the... It's a little bit later sorry, in the day I that know. we're filming. Typically, we're pretty sharp in the morning. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a whole lot sharper <laughs> this than is in the a, morning time. Definitely not sharp this morning. Hey, let's let's do a quick uh, a quick update on the socials. So it's been a while, yeah. We are um, our podcast is uh, is reaching the nations. Um, we're adding more and more nations onto. <laughs> you made it sound really missional. That's not really <laughs> no, what we were going. For. I'm just saying there is someone in multiple nations now who we're up to has, what like ten. Nah, but well, Mexico's one of them. So another shout out for Cinco de Mayo. So mm-hmm. So Love shout out for Cinco yeah. de Mayo. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we need to we need to tap into a new nation not like a, a a nation that was just made a nation in the last hundred years right but like we need to go outside of the 10 or 12 that we have like madagascar kind of madagascar would be awesome that'd be a good good place good place to start like greenland or iceland i'd rather get to greenland because i think there's less people in greenland there's more ice but less people greenland is ice and ice is green boom that's how I remember that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's beautiful. Just Probably like learned that. that in third grade social studies. That that's was good. Or, geography. Geography or social studies? I don't know. Huh. <laughs> geography. So anyway. So what, did you have something else about the socials or you just wanted to no, acknowledge? No, I just, I just wanted to talk about how, you know, things are growing. How many Instagram followers do we have now? I don't know, like 1,200, know? something like that. 1,200? Yeah. It should it's, be more than that, I think. That's fun. I don't know. So follow us on Instagram if you're not already. Uh, tell all your friends. Mainly, maybe your Tell parents. all your friends that don't live in America. Right. Yeah. All the friends that you know who don't live in America, <laughs> let them know that they're missing out on just something good. Yeah. And if you want to take a little stroll down memory lane and right. talk about the brat, the brat <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> Stop. Um, last week was it? Last week we talked a little bit about Chris <clears throat> Gaines. I don't know why we're bringing this up. We again. We did talk about it, and I never thought that. That name would come no. up ever. I didn't think it would come up for the first time. For the first time. I definitely didn't think it would come up two weeks in a row. That's why, you know, sometimes I like sharing some of the notes with you, but then sometimes I like not sharing everything, so then that way I could surprise you. <laughs> the one note you shared was, what is it, like Chris Gaines? Uh, new mu- no, old music, Chris Gaines. <laughs> yeah. But so evidently he was in a movie. Austin, our producer, Austin, this is – this is your time. Austin, so typically Austin just sits in a corner and looks at us, but today he has a camera on him and he's mic'd up in this moment. This is your time to shine, Austin. Tell us about Chris Gaines. Wikipedia says Chris Gaines is a one-off fictional rock persona created as a movie character for Garth Brooks to explore music styles far removed from his success as a country singer. There you go. Whoa. So it was for a movie, but the movie never came out, right? Yeah, essentially... It was for a movie called The Lamb. The Lamb? The Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So the whole thing was like a build up for, for a the movie. movie. Like but the movie never came out? That was kinda like that. Didn't like Joaquin Phoenix do that a few years ago where he like put on took on this whole persona and he was like this musician, but it was like this whole bit was like people following him and it was like he was Ooh, making a movie for it. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. But, it, but no, but I think I remember yeah, some of that. Yeah, so he sounds... did something like that. I mean, several years ago. But like, so the <clears throat> man, now I want to see the movie. You know, I just found out that Joaquin Phoenix is the brother of River Phoenix. How would you not have put those two together? Well, you know, a lot of phoenixes. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> That's strange. Though. You're you're in a weird mood today. I am. I'm a little punchy. Punchy. Yeah. That's where I got my wheels and tires. Punchies in Concord. <laughs> <laughs> is that a mechanic? It is. We're just like punchies. Punchies. Oh, I've never been there. Yeah, it's a great place, man. Wheels and tires. Go go get yourself. <laughs> wheels and um, tires. We're working on sponsorships today, aren't we? Seriously. Yeah. These are all unofficial sponsors, though. Yeah, but they're so like, if you want wait, to, you the can nothing move. in what? Every, no, we don't know who they are. How would someone get in touch with us to sponsor us? Um, Instagram. Yeah. I guess. I don't well, know. They, well, a lot of people want to promote us, though. Remember, we get all those, like, let me promote you on. Oh, yeah. We get a lot of. Yeah. Do we still have, are people still asking for you to send them pictures of us to their. I actually <laughs> blocked them. You blocked them? I blocked that comment. Wait, people want pics. <laughs> so we want to be friendly with people, and you're blocking them? That's absolutely terrible. Hey, what's wrong with this light right here? Oh, <laughs> I just don't saw it. How come you get the one that's like, it's all... No, that's on you. That's my, my light. Is it? <laughs> I just noticed that it's all, like, crinkled up. Man, we're falling apart in here. Hey, so uh, let's talk about the weekend. Yep. How was... uh? Oh, I heard... Well, it was Mother's Day. It was Mother's Day. I heard that um, y'all had a little little tambo back in action at the uh, Edger tambo campus. Tambo made a it came back. And you were on stage actually when it was happening, huh? Yeah, it was. Uh, Let's talk about caught that. me off guard because yeah? I wasn't expecting it. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean after I uh, announced the children and their families, it's like anytime there's like applause. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. And the second child that I announced with family, it was a preemptive. This like, is you for can the, hear the, the tambo parent before. child dedication. Yeah, this okay, was, yeah, yeah. The yeah. second family, I said, "Hey, this is the so and so family." And usually, everybody go. I, you know, I concluded by saying, "Let's welcome the Malloy family." Mm-hmm. You know, and people be like, "Oh, great!" It was, "Let's welcome the Malloy family." <laughs> like it mm, immediately started, yeah, and I could, I yeah. could feel myself just like, "Don't, don't. This is not." This is not time for you to try to work out a bit. No, on I tambourine. I think you work it out, man. No, I don't. I think you not. just stop and go. It was. <laughs> Where is that coming from? I see that hand. Thank you. I yeah. see that. <laughs> that would be awesome for you to do that. Did you ever have like growing up? Did you ever have like bizarre instruments or additional instruments that were not on stage a part of? In our worship service? Yeah, I mean, you know, no. somebody bring out a clacker or a but piccolo a or something. I don't know. Just I do remember this one time. The, the our pastor was preaching, and I mean, he he was getting it, as they say, he was shucking that corn. Oh, right, shucking and, uh, the corn. And this guy raised his hand. It was like the pastor called on him, like he had a question. Like he had a question. He's like, yes. And the guy was like, no. <laughs> and so everything, everything was, it was like, we just all kind of was like, what is happening right now? <laughs> so it was really funny. Really funny. That's good. Yeah. I don't remember uh, many, I'm trying to think, like, what well, somebody broke out like a, the sa- it'd be kind of like a Vuvuzuela, mm. like a, a kazoo. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I had, I had one guy speak in tongues one time at a church I was at. Yeah. I was at one of them assembly churches. And uh, better be careful. And, well, I'm just that's what it was, and this it, it was, it was the first one, the first assembly, and so I, I, I was I was with this girl. There's no a second assembly of God, third assembly. There could there? be. There are second Baptist sure churches. Are. That's true. So anyway, so this girl that I was hanging out with at the time, we went and uh, we were getting ready to pray. The pastor started praying. All of a sudden, this guy jumped up behind me and started saying stuff, and I literally looked at him and I was like, "Hey, man, we're praying." <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. <clears throat> no idea. Oh. So, and then you know, obviously the girl was like, "We can't talk anymore." I was like, "Yeah, that's fine." Ooh. You go to this crazy church. Yeah, weren't yeah on the same page. Yeah, now nah, we weren't on the same page. Mm. So, what else happened this weekend? Anything else? Um, I made a little trek to Virginia. Oh, wait, we had this graduation. Weekend? Oh wow. Yeah, like oh, I Thursday think I saw some pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Uh, the oldest niece graduated from college, so that was cool. College graduation from Liberty. It was from Liberty. I didn't go to the commencement because it was nice. It actually rained like the whole time, so I don't oh, know, anybody really. that went to anything, I yeah. was like, yeah. So we had a party Saturday, mm. but it was cool. That's Graduations. Cool. I'm trying to think of, like anything ever happened in your graduation. Nah, nothing. Did like, you walk in your college graduation, or did you just get your diploma? Because you finished up. I finished up at Liberty. I did not walk, so I, they just. I what just did got you do your 
previous where did where did your academic career begin in college? Uh, I went to a little junior college Ooh, in little Juco actually. Central Georgia, a little yeah. town called Barnesville. I went to Gordon Junior College. <laughs> Gordon, Gordon, Gordon Junior College. Yeah, yeah, and and I have to say Junior College because if I say Gordon College, which is what it's called, people go, "Oh, you went to you went to Gordon College." I'm like, "Nah, if you knew the school, you wouldn't be surprised like that." Wait, what is Gordon? Like Gordon, was it Conwell? Uh, Gordon Con- Conwell. Yeah, 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 right. So people think I went there, and I'm like, oh. "Nah, mm-hmm. I went to uh, a, little yeah, yeah, yeah. A little JUCO." That's where I was singing. That's where I was singing. Uh, I was doing to some the opera. the ladies in the cafeteria? No, that was high school, bro. Come on. <laughs> oh, you'd moved on past that. Yeah, yeah, I moved on past that. But no, I was doing like more op- opera, kind of classical. Whoa, 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 classical wait. music. We've never <clears throat> We've never talked about this. We've never talked about this. Class, you're a classically trained At one point, at one point, singer? I sang a whole lot of classical music. Like, like in my fee, go, no, fee. like that, just actually, just like that. Is that what you had to do? <laughs> Ricola, is that, what you, <laughs> is that what you had to do to warm up? That's kind of that, 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 that. This is my warm up, even still today. That's exactly how I warm up now. So, <laughs> you stand backstage on my way into it. Your guitar. That's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. I tune my guitar that way and everything. It's great. <laughs> I didn't know you were classically trained, like yeah, Pavarotti. Yeah, classically trained. Yeah, no, Gerald. not no, not pa- not like Pavarotti. <laughs> He's incredible. I am not Luciano. Just, uh, Gerald. Gerald. <laughs> Pavarotti. Malloy. Ma- <laughs> yeah. So yeah, man, that that was that was like back in the day. Every now and then, I'll sing like at a wedding or something like that, you know. And I kind of I'll kind of tap in a little, little bit of that, you know, that side. Tap into my, nah, opera, you know, just uh, my pipes. a little little dabble, little <laughs> little dabble dab- dabble. You ever ride down the street like listening to some opera and just mm. go crazy? Nessun Dorma oh, by what? Pavarotti is probably one of my favorite favorite songs I listen to uh, quite frequently. It is if you listen to Say it, it again. It's, I, I think it's called Nessun Dorma. So if I go look it up on Apple Radio, I can find Nessun mm-hmm, Dorma. Mm-hmm. This is going to be great. I can't and like you'll hear it and you'll be like, oh, this sounds this like just oddly like familiar. Bring, yeah? Yeah, and it's uh, it's incredible. Did you find it already? Yeah, there you go. He's already found it. You play a little piece over this right So now. Yeah, and like one one of the things I like so much about, um, you know, when the three tenors or when the, when those guys will sing is like they wait for the last, like the last note is like it. So yeah. if you're doing a really good job and everything's going really nice and, and good the whole time, if you miss that last, the ending is it. Mm-mm. It's like the big note at the end, the big mm-hmm. crescendo at the end. If you mi- come on, crescendo, crescendo. What is happening to you? I don't even I don't know, know who you are. Anymore. I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> you're a three tenors anyway. guy. I'm more of a Canadian tenors guy. Is there such a thing as Canadian tenors? Look it up. I I think so. <laughs> mm. I I kind of pinned you for more of like a French. Uh, Accordion, <laughs> classical, <laughs> classical French accordion tenors guy. Yeah, so look it up. Is there Canadian tenors? I think the tenors are Canadian. See the tenors. Yeah, that's that's their band name. Is the the tenors? But that's not the three tenors. Canadian. No, that's, yeah. those are three of them. Yeah, right. Can you have more than three tenors? No, you can only have three. These three, the Canadians. We don't, you know. We don't acknowledge them. Uh, our well, yeah, to the north. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's move on. <clears throat> this is uh, <laughs> <laughs> one day. One day I'll sing something. One day in here. There's something. No, not in here. You kidding me? I yeah, I'd bust all the lights in this place. We, we should. I'm teasing. One day I might have to just that. bust something out. What did you do this weekend, something. man? So you know it was Mother's Day, right? So my wife had told some friends of ours. There were you know some friends were like, hey, you guys want to go to the rodeo? So my wife was like, yeah, we'll go. We've never been to one. So she doesn't really, she doesn't tell me right away. So. Consult with you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so because she probably knew I was going to be like, mm, I ain't going oh, to rodeo. Oh, man. <clears throat> we went to the rodeo. Yeah? I've been to one rodeo back in the day. I had the time of my life. Did you? <laughs> like my inner redneck. Yeah? Or whatever. From Gordon? It just Georgia. came out. South Georgia came Ooh. out. Like... Dirty, we dirty. were walking up, and I was like, okay, now, kids, be careful. Stand back from the fence if a bull gets crazy or whatever. And, man, we walked through the gate, and I was like, let's go, man. Man, man. And so, Pull out a plug, a red man. All right. I, I felt like I was the only one. My family and the friends that we were with were the only ones, male or female, yeah. that did not have some sort of chew in our mouth or some mm. sort of dip. 
it had been okay. It's a special and, dispensation if you're at the rodeo. Man, <laughs> it was it was incredible. Matter of fact, I'd never I'd never watched uh, people get on the back of a. Why are you talking like, like all of a sudden you all, people get on the back? <laughs> get on because it was just wait. So was this like bull riding? Like it was Bronco, bull like, riding, racing, bull riding. Barrel? No, there's no racing. You really, just, this was all bull riding. You strap on to the back of a bull. Yeah, I've seen. And it. you try to hang on for eight seconds. You ever seen that movie Luke Perry? Eight seconds. <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> Didn't know we were gonna get a Luke Perry reference. Luke either. Perry, nine hundred two one zero. Come on. Anyway, man. Peach Pit. Come on. So. I mean, I've, <laughs> I've seen it. I mean, I've I've been to a rodeo before, and I've seen it like on the television. rodeo was amazing. Yeah. Okay. So two crazy it's things. Terrifying. Actually, to watch three. Though. Actually, four crazy things happened. Oh boy, four. Yeah, okay. it's it's a whole lot. How how close are we on time? Are we? Yeah, boy. Twenty five minutes. All right. Okay. We'll just talk for a couple minutes about this. You got to know twice already. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he's he's on the podcast now. So, the first crazy thing that happened was this bull comes out, and he's throwing this guy all over the place. Next thing you know, man, that bull comes down, and he, like, broke his back or something. The bull did? The bull. Like the bull flip over? No. he. I guess the way he landed, he did something and literally drug – this bull drug himself off the, the rodeo, like out of the – whatever the you thing is. You video footage of this? I videoed the whole thing. I need to see that. I'll show you later. Oh, my goodness. But I, when I saw it, I was like, ooh. So, literally, I told my kids, I was like, just wait for a gunshot. We're going to hear something, and maybe we can buy, like, a side of. We'll get some steak on the way yeah, out. <laughs> side of Angus on the way to the house. <laughs> oh, my god! It was insane. Like I've never heard of that. That's crazy. Like, I went to sleep last night, and my jaw was all clenched because I was, like, I, I don't know, I stressed yeah. out. Yeah. This other time. Oh, boy. Towards the end, this old boy was on a bull, and that thing started twirling around and around, yeah. and he was just hanging on. Like, he came off and was hanging on. Well, then he jumped the fence to get out of the out of the arena or whatever. Come after him? No, it didn't come after him, but the damage had been done. The joker left on a stretcher. That The guy? Yeah. Man, it was brutal. Oh, man. But the best part was they would, like, Those guys, man. these little kids, I mean, like, six, seven, eight-year-olds. Oh, well, they ride the sheep? They put them on a sheep. That's pretty funny. Man, it was hilarious. I, I got Emmy on a sheep. I videoed every one of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was hilarious. Put like a helmet on them and let them. Oh, go. they're all they're all decked out. Yeah. Helmet got the chaps and everything. They come <laughs> flying out, and um, I, I I feel like I'm speaking more country. You the, you are. I'm before like, we well, get what's into going it, on? I'm wearing a cowboy hat next week. Stetson. I might even wear some Stetson. Cologne. It's a cologne. Mm. Anyway, so uh, yeah, but the craziest thing was because it was Mother's Day, the guy was like, "Hey, let's get all the mothers out here, and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna pin two uh, ribbons to these bulls. There's two bulls. We're gonna let them run, and the women. If you're a mom, you just come out onto the thing and you run after these bulls and you try oh, to yeah. you try to get the ribbon. You say, "Oh yeah, like yeah." I'm like, no, I'm saying like, hey, come on out here. Yeah, no, no. Women, no. why don't y'all chase some bulls <laughs> around? See, so. So there's a difference between just, uh, maybe just people, groups. I feel like you're talking like my grandpappy right now. No, I'm like just saying. Like, look, you know, I didn't. I don't. I don't like know. Two different kind of groups. Okay. I just, you know, the, the people I grew up around, my family, we didn't see much of this kind of stuff. <laughs> probably your family. Y'all, y'all probably seen a little bit more of that. Yeah, we probably I just hadn't from, seen this stuff. Yeah, I understand. So you know, get some guys out there. They're crazy. You know, whatever, trying to prove they're tough. That's fine. But then all of a sudden, these women get out there, and it's Ooh. just like, mm-mm. This is gonna end. This is not gonna end well. Yeah. Well, it turned out, <laughs> one lady grabbed both ribbons at the same time. Off of a bull. Off two bulls. So she just ran right in between them. Was like, well, bam, and grabbed both of them, and she won the whole thing. Just like that, forty dollars. Wow, For, she was twenty dollars a ribbon. In in my mind, I'm back. like, oh man, these are, it's got to be worth like twenty five hundred dollars a piece or something, right? Nah, forty bucks. Forty bucks Can't total. Buy my kids Chick Fil A for forty dollars. You can't. Your copay will be more than that when you're <laughs> when you end up in the in the ER or the urgent care or someplace. Yeah, I don't know that that's worth it. No, <laughs> it's not worth. Can't it. Can't get out there. No. no. So then, you know, we're riding home. I told Miles, hey, look up and see how much, like, the most, uh, the the highest earning bull bullfighter, bull rider. Yeah. Find difference. out how much they make. Yeah. And it's like $6 million. Well. Which $6 million can change your life. I get it. Yeah. But it's like, I'm not willing. Be, yeah. 
to get my arm completely ripped off of some sort of bull <laughs> or get a horn like in the side or something like that for six million dollars. Maybe like a one time thing, but he had six million like, like a one time. His, I'll take one horn. Just one horn, one good time in the chest, yeah. and then I'm out, six mil and I'm out. That's good. But not good. like a little bit, little bit at a time and over you know, over the next twenty years I make six million dollars. Yeah, my, I'm, my not, earnings, I'm, yeah. I'm not interested in doing that. My lifetime earnings. It needs to be like six hundred million. million. You know what I'm saying? What are you gonna do different though from six million to six hundred million? Are you serious? Yeah. I am serious. I feel like I could blow well, I it's a difference like between blow six million pretty quick. It's between it's a difference between like having like a little Cessna airplane, a little three seater plane yeah. for six million, or having like airwolf. Airwolf? <laughs> Did you just say airwolf? Because I know exactly what you're talking about. I was obsessed with airwolf. I want airwolf. And I need more than six mil. Yeah, if you had six hundred million, you get a couple. Six hundred. I, I just you could also one. get Nighthawk. Do you remember Nighthawk, I the motorcycle? Nighthawk. Yes, yes. Maybe you had Airwolf and Nighthawk. And go ahead and go ahead and get Knight Rider while, while you're at and it. The General Lee, mm-hmm. you'd be good. The General <laughs> Lee. <laughs> you know you watched it back in the day. I did watch General Lee, or the. Dukes we of had six hundred million dollars. <laughs> that's what we spent our money on. I mean, r- like right off the the bat, it was like cash a check, <laughs> go get those things. <laughs> <laughs> like on the way to the bank, I'm making phone calls. Excuse me, Mister hey, uh, Mister Mr. Airwolf. Wolf, Mr. Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I like to buy one of your airplane helicopters. Airplane yeah. helicopter. And then I need like one of those like vo- like fake volcanoes to come out of the top of you know. And then ooh, ooh, that's right, like an underground lair. I just buy an underground lair. Yeah, I don't know. This is mm-hmm. all dumb. All this from the rodeo. You so, went to it. I did go to the rodeo, and I, I'll did tell you, you this. Did you eat food at the rodeo? I ate some nachos and some cheese. Well, that sounds pretty it good. It wasn't good. But I, I'm going to go back to the rodeo. Yeah. I had so much fun. Uh, yeah. I mean, my kids, they wanted to go to one recently. We didn't go, but they would have loved it just to see the animals. I mean, you know, they're all into, yeah. they're all into that, animals. Probably the funny, funniest thing that, that the guy said. There was Not a guy, crippled bull rolling out of the Right, right, right. Ring. But this guy's like. Like he is doing all the, he's talking the whole time on a mic, talking the whole time, and he says, "Welcome to Stegall's, where we, we take our children and strap them to farm animals and let them ride." <laughs> <laughs> That's like their tagline. <laughs> it was awesome, man. It was awesome. So we had we had a we had a great time, man. So, <clears throat> hey, maybe we can get some tickets to the rodeo next time. Yeah, yeah, may, maybe so. Austin standing up. That's our the cue. Producer, uh, I guess it's the I cue that going to be in a good shot right now. That we've had a great show today. Oh, and, it's uh, been spectacular. It's been fantastic. Episode so, fifteen in the books. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Will we talk about Chris Gaines next week? Three weeks in a row. No can we more talk Chris, about Gaines Chris Gaines ever again. Ever. Bet. Okay. All right. Have a great week. See y'all later. Mm-hmm.